pour ceux qui ont plus d'argent, ils ont plus de moyens et donc plus de chance. C'est le cancer du 21e siècle. Un président d'une grande société gagne 200 fois plus au salaire minimum. C'est injuste. C'est aussi normal qu'un patron qui prenne des risques pour sa société, qui met de l'argent dedans, gagne plus que son employé. Pour moi, l'Europe sociale, c'est un des plus gros échecs de l'Europe. I've been claiming benefits for the last two years and um, I just can't find any work. I, I feel sorry for them. The economic inequality sucks. Totally. There is no common trend in uh, rising inequality in Europe, but some countries uh, like Spain, uh, the UK, Sweden have experienced a large increase in income inequality of the same magnitude like uh, in the US. The main question is whether, for instance, uh, the next generation can, uh, can uh, for the same type of job, maintain the same living standard as the previous generation. If we classify people by education, or income, or wealth, or even by the general socioeconomic characteristics of the areas in which they live, what we find is the higher they are in the social hierarchy, the better their health and the longer they live. In the worst off part of Glasgow, life expectancy for men is 54, and in the best off, it's 82. A 28-year gap in life expectancy about 11 kilometers apart within one Scottish city. We look at costs to the health system. We look at costs from lost work. We look at costs from lost taxation. And they amount to tens of billions of pounds or euros. Inequality is very bad for the economy because It doesn't generate the capacity to consume that a worker should have because it has contributed to the creation of wealth. The financial crisis, particularly, is obviously widening in inequalities. What is surprising is to see Europe today, you know, putting the weight of the problem of the debt on the weight of the weakest in society. It can't be that way. This is only the beginning of a movement that will continue for a long time. Until we don't attack the, the real root of the, the, the inequalities, uh, we cannot uh, stop it. And we have a, a market out of control. The politicians, instead of uh, protecting us, decided to protect the interests of the markets. I think uh, services uh, that are uh, essential to have a decent life, a decent work, a decent education, and of course, a decent health care. The most useful uh, policy tool now is taxation. We need to make the tax systems more redistributive, more uh, progressive. The EU, to reduce economic inequality, has to reconnect with its values. Social market economy. Social has sort of dropped off. You need to put it back into the picture. All societies have economic inequalities. There's not a complex society that doesn't. What governments should do is look at the impact of all their policies on the lives that people are able to lead and the social distribution of that. A quick, easy, global solution to the problem? I, I, I don't think so, but I think it can definitely be improved Est-ce qu'on sait échanger quelque chose de nos jours ou pas? Wise investments, uh, government funding, subsidies for those who need it. It's always been there and I think it always will be. L'inégalité est euh, biblique. Il faudrait vraiment changer un mode de société, euh, mais radicalement. Do I believe that we can change it? Yes, I do. Yes, I believe or I wouldn't be standing here.